All right, welcome to our latest engine swap monstrosity. We want to put this J series 3.7 liter single overhead cam Honda V6 into this BMW E30. So we're getting some weights. We just took this tired old uh, Acura MDX harness off. And the weight with everything was 309. And what are we now? 285. Yeah, so that's missing the uh, upper plenum, which was about, what, four or five pounds? Uh, Fairly be. light. Very compact. There's harnesses made for this. There's all sorts of manifolds. Yeah. So the width of this guy, yeah, it's like 22 inches. That's an inch wider, I think, than an LS. So it's really small. And then back of the block to front of the timing cover, 17 inches, which is, again, really, really short. And then height-wise, I don't really have a great number here, but it's about 23 inches, 22 and a half to the plenum here. 285 pounds as it sits. And let's go ahead and put the plenum on. Christian's going to drop that on. Transverse mounted, front wheel drive setups only. So putting this in a rear drive car is a challenge. And yeah, from there I can get a real height. So the top of this, the top of the plenum, yeah, about 28 inches. So that's doable. That ticket to 299 pounds. That means our plenum is what, uh, 14 pounds of stuff there with the throttle body? All right, we've got a typical LS1 with an LS3 manifold. How high is that? Looks like about 26 inches. 26? Yep. And that's a typical F body pan. And this is our little J37A1. It is six inches shorter. This is 18 inches from the back of the block to the front of the crank pulley. And that was 24. This one actually comes in a hair over 27. So an inch taller. It's Clearly we gotta get intakes. rid of the stuff on the back of the block. Uh, width wise, this is 21. And this is 22, I believe. This one comes in. So an LS is very compact. But having two fewer cylinders, we, we gained six inches front to back. We're going to see if we can get that 3.7 liter V6 and swap it in in place of our M44 1.9 liter four cylinder. It made a whopping 125 horsepower. We have plenty of room. I think this engine's even longer. Uh, I mean, they put straight sixes in here, which are just monstrosities. And, uh, but 3.7 liters, bigger than anything ever came in this car from the factory by a lot. And 300 horsepower, 275 foot-pounds of torque. I've seen a header and cold air and tune put down 335 wheel on 93 octane, <clears throat> which would scoot pretty good. This is a 2,450-pound car, soaking wet, full interior. And, uh, yeah, 335 to the wheels would move. So we're excited. We're going to see if we can make it work. A lot of challenges with the starter, with the bell housing, even engine mounting and oil pan are a challenge. Uh, but we'll see if we can make it fit in here and stay tuned. We'll have some more videos soon showing this J-Swap into our BMW E30.